Now let me turn to Imtex, which is showcasing the machine tool industry. I believe it is one of the oldest industrial exhibitions in the country. It's the 17th in the series, I understand. So could you walk us through how did this whole thing came into being, where it started and why it was started? So first of all, <coughs> uh, when the association of IMTMA was started in 1946 by about 20 um, Indian machine tool manufacturing companies to promote machine tool manufacturing in the country and machine tool trade in the country. Exhibition slowly started getting into, thanks to Godrich, we had a great venue available to us. As the industry was expanding, exhibition was expanding, Godrich was expanding, for several years they were host to the show. As the manufacturing industry grew, the machine tool exhibition the stature of Vimtex exhibition also grew. Today, you, you would probably rate it as one of the largest exhibitions in this part of the world. South East Asia. People look for a machine tool exhibition in India. They look forward to participating, visiting Imtex as a show where they can see the technology. According to us, a trade shows of Imtex kind of a trade shows are extremely critical for making our manufacturing strategy to happen. You need SMEs, you need small and medium industries who are very important ingredient to make in India strategy to see, visualize new methods of doing things, new machine tools, new technologies. If you don't have such world class trade shows, there is no way you would be able to take everybody to an international show, showcase what exactly is happening there. I believe Impex is a very, very important critical ingredient of manufacturing uh, industry to grow in the country and over the years it has really grown in terms of size, in terms of image, in terms of technology participation and you see in this year we would probably have about nine specific country pavilions, 24 international countries will participate in the exhibition. We will have over 900 exhibitors coming and participating here. We would probably get about 100,000 visitors to the exhibition. It's by far one of the biggest show in this part of the world and critical for the manufacturing industry. So, you want to add to that? And what kind of value you see in terms of the one week exhibition that is going to happen? Exhibitions like this are in the sphere of what we call B2B exhibitions. Yeah. Unlike the normal consumer goods, you know, which uh, consumer electronics or uh, auto show where you can see motorbikes and cars. Uh, this is a very different uh, show. The target audience is different. The users are our customers and they come here and not the end uh, uh, person who see, uses the fan. He doesn't come here, but the person who manufactures the fan will come here. So just to give a link. Yeah. Now, it, we don't expect this to be a kind of a shop where buying and selling is going on, right? We expect this to be a demonstrator of technical capabilities, that what each company is capable of, what innovations are happening, what are the new methods of manufacturing, how you can solve a, a machining problem that you may have in your own factory. You come here under one roof, you will see all the players, not only Indian, but even foreign. So you will have everybody trying to tell you what solution they have, different alternative solutions to solve the same problem. You can see in the, demonstrate in the show, you can evaluate them and make a very intelligent decision as to which way you want to go. Uh, this is something that a B2B exhibition offers uh, to a customer, failing which he would have had to visit 10 companies okay. and invest maybe 20 days of man days of time to be able to do the same evaluation. See, as a manufacturer, you must be visiting international exhibitions. So how does Imtex compare with that? And do you keenly look forward to and there's a lot of uh, innovation available for you? See, uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you, the signaling value is very, very great uh, you know, on exhibitions like this to, to product makers like uh, Toyota who introduce models on a regular basis in yeah. India. It gives us the confidence yeah. that the necessary technological capability is there. It, it, it resides in India. This is a major decision factor. Please understand one thing. We are not competing against um, other automakers here. We in a, a Toyota in India is actually competing against Toyota in Indonesia, in Thailand, in other countries in new model introduction. Shows like this actually give us the confidence that the technology is available here and that it is a good feeder, um, for example, the machine tools are a good feeder for the auto component industry who can then make to spec as we require. Uh, th that is one. Second, 
if you look at the ambience that Bangalore is offering, you know, the BIEC where this particular show is uh, going to be hosted, the, the annual Imtex, I think it's an excellent uh, uh, area where one can host shows. It's truly international in its, uh, uh, in, in the layout, in the way it is being presented. And I've been attending these shows uh, regularly. Krishna, IMTV has developed two brands, Imtex and BIEC. What makes Imtex a strong brand according to you? No, Imtex is a very strong uh, B2B brand uh, between, let's say, the uh, machine builders and machine tool users in the country. Uh, when you talk about mach manufacturing technology, machine tools, accessories, the entire industry would always relate to Imtex as a show where they see newer development, newer technologies, newer ideas. So it's extremely, people look forward to the show. They look for, ask us, when is the Imtex coming up? When is, give us your calendar. It's a show which manufacturing industry looks forward to. So consequently, the value proposition this offers to a visitor, to a, a participating company, uh, to, um, uh, to organizations which send people delegation to here, is an excellent value proposition. It's a local Indian exhibition. Big delegations are able to come here. They are able to see the products of international class here. So, it's it's built its brand over the time by consistently delivering high quality show. That is how it has been built. Finally, has India reached a state where it can become a gateway to global manufacturing? Yes, I believe we are at a very very important threshold uh, position now. If our policy directional push in the next two, three years will be consistent and moving forward, India would certainly become a very, very strong manufacturing destination. And then it is very, very important for us to recognize manufacturing and machine tool as together. Look at any strong manufacturing economy, Germany, Japan, Korea, China, they are also strong machine tool industry player. According to me, there is only one roadblock to India becoming a manufacturing hub of the world. And that roadblock is not with the government. In my mind, that roadblock is our own mindset. Do we think big? Are we thinking big? Are we thinking beyond India? And I think this is what is captured by uh, the government when you say make in India rather than made in India. Right? This is, the, this is the subtle difference between the two. You make it here, sell it anywhere you like. The industry has to cultivate this mindset of thinking big. We can't be risk averse and then say that we want to play a leadership role in the world. We will have to take those calculated risks. We will have to uh, make sure that we think big and we plan capacity ahead of demand rather than chase demand. Um, I think we are blessed with everything which is required to make India a very successful manufacturing hub. We have uh, technology, people with technology, we have um, the business acumen, um, we have the credibility of the world, people trust I Indians, uh, we have the Indian uh, English language which is a global language, we have the internal demand, so we have everything in place, then why is it not happening? Uh, I think there are many factors which we need it, uh, to look into, uh, we all talked about ease of doing business. We talked about infrastructure, we talked about power, we talked about an enabling uh, environment. And most of all, the businessman is looked at as a profiteer. Industry is not looked at something which is good for society. It is looked as an evil devil which is rapacious and wants to grab everything. That mindset needs to change. Shekhar? Absolutely optimistic about uh, manufacturing in India. Uh, I do think uh, that the Indian manufacturing sector is poised to grow. Now, whether it will become 25% of uh, the total GDP of the country, I don't know, or in what time frame. Yeah. But I certainly, I think it's going to go up from 16% to 20% or 21% or thereabouts. If we even achieve that, I think we would have made significant headway. I think we first need to be make sure that in the region, in the Asia-Pacific region, that we are leaders by, ch by choice. And, and that we become leaders here. Taking on the world is the next logical step. Okay, Shekhar, very well put. We went on a very optimistic note, and I think we have to change the mindset. That's the operative word. Gentlemen, thank you for being on the show. It's a pleasure to have you all. Thank, thank, you, you. thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Innovate. Enable.